Let's talk a bit about the fiscal footprint of AI and why data centers may become the biggest climate debate of the decade. AI feels invisible, right? You type in a request, an answer comes up, and it feels like nothing physical has happened. But quite the contrary. Behind every chatbot request is a real machine consuming energy, consuming water, and affecting the climate in ways that we never really see physically. How big is the data center conversation? One of the biggest data centers in the world, the Switch Citadel campus in Nevada spans 7.2 million square feet. That's a digital city, not just a server room. And it exists because big companies like Amazon, Microsoft, AI Labs depend on it to run the computation behind the models we use every day. So when you talk to AI, your request could literally be bouncing across buildings bigger than airports. Yes. Now, these facilities do not just sit quietly. Data centers already consume 1.5% of global electricity. That's more electricity than the entire UK consumes. When you introduce AI, that changes the math exponentially. Because AI models require intense computation, the International Energy Agency has projected that data center energy usage could double by 2030. And this isn't just abstract. Big organizations like Microsoft, Google, Amazon, and other AI players are signing massive power agreements that are actively reshaping local and national energy grids. And in some regions, AI data centers are now the largest, fastest growing source of electricity demand. And it's not just electricity, it's also water. A single AI heavy data center can use up to 3 to 5 million gallons of water per day just to stay cool. And this has real consequences. For example, Google's facilities in Chile, Oregon, and Iowa have all been challenged by local communities because the water needed for AI is water taken from farms, households, and ecosystems. The environmental cost of AI isn't happening online, it's happening in real towns. So why is this important to highlight? When you learn that training one AI model can literally consume millions of kilowatt hours and millions of liters of water, the picture becomes clearer, isn't it? AI is not weightless. It's not just code in the cloud. It's an industrial operation with a resource footprint. And as AI adoption accelerates, data centers will become one of the most defining climate and infrastructure stories of our time. Understanding who owns them, how big they are, and how much they consume isn't trivial. It's the first step in asking the real questions. Can AI evolve without deepening the environmental crisis? Or will we need to rethink how intelligence is powered? Food for thoughts.